for those who are lost hear that Jesus died to save them, it sounds foolish. But we are saved now. This message is very powerful of God. God says, I will destroy all human plans of salvation. It doesn't matter how wise they seem to be. I ignore the best ideas of men, even the smartest of them. So what about these wise men? What about these scholars? What about these men who argue about the world's great affairs? God has made them all look foolish. He has shown their wisdom to useless nonsense. God is wise. He decided that the world will never find God through him and wisdom. Then he stepped in and saved everybody who believed his message. The world calls this message foolish and silly. He seems foolish to the Jews because they want a sign from heaven. This will be proof that what is preached is true. It is foolish to the Gentiles too. They only agree with what seems wise to them. So we preach about Christ dying to save all people. But the Jews are offended and the Gentile says it's all nonsense. However, God has opened the eyes of those who call it salvation. He has opened the both of Jews and Gentiles. They can see the Christ is almighty power of God to save them. Christ himself is the center of God's wise plan for them salvation. This so-called foolish plan of God is wiser than the plan of the wisest man, wise man. God in his weakness is far stronger than any man. You are God's house. The Spirit of God lives among you in your house. Look at yourself, dear brothers, few of my who follow Christ have big names or power of, or wealth. Instead, God has chosen people the world considers foolish. He uses them to shame the people who are wise and great. He has chosen a plan the world hates. He used it to bring down nothing those the world consider great. That way, no one anywhere can ever brag in front of God. For it is from God alone that you have life through Christ Jesus. He showed us God's plan of salvation. He was the one who made us welcome to God. He made us pure and holy and gave himself to buy our salvation. The Bible says, if anyone is proud, let him be proud of what the Lord has done. May God bless his word. A letter to Christians everywhere. From Jude, a servant of Jesus Christ and a brother of James. To Christians everywhere who are beloved of God and chosen by him. May you be given more and more of God's kindness and peace and love. Watch out for false teachers. Friends, I... I had been planning to write you about the salvation we share, but now I must write of something else instead. I urge you to, to defend the truth that God gave to his people. He gave it once for all for us, for all for us to keep without changing. Some godless teachers have worn their way in among you. They, they say that after we become Christians, we can do what we like. They say we don't have to fear God's punishment. The fate of such people who was writing alone long ago, they have turned against our only master and Lord Jesus Christ. Remember what you know already. The Lord saved the whole nation of people out of the land of Egypt. Then he killed every one of them who didn't trust and obey him. I remind you of the angels who were pure and holy. But they turned to a life of sin. Now God has them chained up in the presence of darkness. They are all waiting for Judgment Day. And don't forget the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah and their neighboring towns. They were full of lust of every kind, including lust of men for other men. Those cities were destroyed by fire. They continue to warn us that there is a hell in, this, in, which, in which sinners are punished. Yet these false teachers go on living their evil and moral lives. They degrade their bodies and laugh at those in authority over them. They even laugh at the glorious ones. Michael is one of the mightiest of the angels. Once he was arguing with Satan about Moses' body, 
but he didn't dare to accuse Satan or laugh at him. He, su he simply, simply said, The Lord rebuke you. But these men laugh and curse at anything they don't understand. They are like animals. They do whatever they feel like and ruin their own souls. Mm. Who argue with Satan about Moses' body? How terrible it will be for them. They follow the example of a Cain who killed his brother. Like Balaam, they will do anything for money. Mm. Like Korah, they have disobeyed God and will die under his curse. These men are hidden smears in your love fest. This they stuff themselves without a thought for others. They are like clouds blowing over dry land without giving rain. They promise much, but produce nothing. They are like fruit trees without any fruit at picking time. They are not only deadly, but doubly dead. Why? Because they have been pulled out, roots and all. They are about to be burned. All they live behind them is shame and disgrace. It is like the dirty foam left along the beach by the wild waves. They wander around looking as bright as stars, but ahead of them is eternal gloom and darkness. God has prepared Mama. this for them. Mama. Enoch lived seven generations after Adam. He knew about these men. He said, see the Lord is coming with millions of, of his holy ones. He will bring the people of the world before him in judgment. They will be given fair punishment. Don't say that earlier. This will prove the terrible thing. Don't get the they have done against God. It will reveal all the all they have sinned against him. These men complain all the time. They are never content and satisfied. They do whatever evil they feel like. Thank you. They are loud mouth show walls. Mm. When they show respect for others, it is only to get something from them. <laughs> Fight for God's truth. Dear friends, remember what what the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ told you. They say in the last times, the scoffer will come. Their whole purpose in life is to adjoin your ungodly pleasures. They stir up argument. They love, love the evil things of the world. They do not have the Holy Spirit living in them. But you, dear friend, build up your lives and your holy faith. Learn to pray in the power and strength of the Holy God. I mean, Holy Spirit. Who is the Are you unplugged it, LJ? Don't yeah. run from the right. God. I... Don't run from God's love. Put it in a bowl Stay and bring in it in God's here. Love. Wait for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ and the no, eternal life playing. He is going to give to you. Stay in God's love. Wait for wait for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ and the eternal life He is going to give to you. Try to help those who argue against you. Be merciful to those who doubt. Save some by snatching them as from the, the very flames of hell itself. Mm. And as for others, help them find the Lord by being kind to them. But be careful that they aren't pulled along into their sins. Hate every trace mm. of their sin while being merciful to them as sinners. All glory to him who along it who alone is God. He saves us through Jesus Christ our Lord. His splendor, majesty, and power and are His from the beginning. They they are His and they will be forever. He is able to keep you from slipping and falling away. He will bring you perfect into the presence with mighty shouts of joy. Amen. Sincerely, Jude. Alright, that's good. And he showed me a river of pure water of life, clear as crystal. It was flowing from the throne of God and the Lamb. The river ran down the center of the main street. On each side of the river grew the tree of life. It had 12 crops of fruit. A fresh crop each month. The leaves of the tree The leaves of the tree, it's a, a fresh crop each month. So heaven is eternal. I don't know why they would point out month. That's not how I pray about. The leaves of the tree were used for medicine to heal the nations. Oh, wow. There's